Hey everybody, it's social media producer Tom Barnes from the WGM Morning News in the Fulton Market District with my friend Morgan Olson from Time Out Chicago. How you doing? Hey Tom, I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Um, so we're looking around here and you're seeing this is Fulton Market and uh, they got streets closed and uh, just yonder to the, uh, where is it, to the south of us, even on Randolph Street, streets are closed, but this is kind of the new normal for city dining heading into the fall, right? That's right. Every restaurant is trying to figure out how can we get a little bit more time outside and igloos and greenhouses, these temporary plastic structures have become really popular for extending that outdoor dining season. Yeah, this isn't necessarily an answer to winter. This is more what you're saying as an extension to what fall dining could go into late fall. Exactly, exactly. So these are some of the things, they got the Chicago Star in it. Are these some of the winning designs that we saw from that restaurant? Um, <laughs> uh contest the city put on so we haven't seen those roll out just yet but this is um kind of an uh, a collaborative effort between stella artois the oh, illinois guess. restaurant association and then the west central association they said you know kind of how can we create this really cool village of outdoor dining in the West Loop and give people kind of a, a, a really cool destination to head to this winter. I know, I mean, the uh, this area of the city, I mean, used to be called Restaurant Rover on Randolph Street. I'm, I'm guessing it still is, yeah. but Fulton Market has kind of taken on its own identity where it's become like the dining hub of like innovation. With all due respect to other neighborhoods, I mean, this is where these things kind of pop up first and that, you know, it seems like this is what they're doing, right? Exactly, and I think, you know, West Loop and Fulton Market specifically have long been considered a, you know, like you said, a hub of dining innovation. Um, and I think that this kind of just exhibits that perfectly, you know, restaurants banding together to do something really neat. Um, and I think we've got five or six participating restaurants. So you really do have a choice um, when you come and reserve a, an igloo or a table out here. Yeah, and it's a very much a Chicago thing, almost like a block party vibe or neighborhood vibe where people are kind of helping out each other to just kind of get through it all, right? Exactly. I feel like this year more than Let's any pop other over quick. Yeah. Let's use this one. Go ahead. This year more than any other year, we're seeing restaurants collaborate with each other, get together, um, do things that are really, you know, teamwork centric that you wouldn't have seen before. Everybody's just trying to make it. Yeah, everybody's just trying to make it. And it seems like this is, I mean, it's a more of a European model. I've seen this in Europe, a bunch of places where um, you have this outdoor seating like this with streets closed. Hopefully this might be something that kind of sticks around even after COVID, right? Yeah, I think we're going to see outdoor dining being a huge priority as we move into 2021. And I think we'll see some of the open streets that we saw this summer possibly even continue into the post-COVID era. I, I hope so, at least. I yeah. think it's great. And I feel like, uh, given what's going on, I think maybe in the future as well, the, ex the dining season might be extended in general because now we've had a, we, you know, winter comes, everybody runs inside. And that's been the mentality for years. But in other cities, they embrace it. So maybe we're going to find a little happy medium to do that, right? Exactly. And I think when, when spring rolls around, I know it seems like forever um, until that happens. But I do think we'll see people flocking back outside that first spring day, you know, in Chicago. And it's like barely 50 degrees, but people are wearing shorts and sandals. I think we'll see a resurgence of that it's bigger than ever this year. So you guys, uh, we were mentioned earlier off camera. I mean, you, if people want to know what's going on in the city, Time Out is the place. And 90% of the time, it's your name next to the to the publication. So um, people should follow you. How should they do that? Yeah, follow us at Time Out Chicago. Um, we've also got a great website, timeout.com slash Chicago. And then you can follow me too. I'm at Morgan C. Olson. All right, Morgan, thanks a lot. I think we're going to take a look inside uh, one of these igloos right now with my friend okay. Steven. So let's uh, want to go and say hi to him and we'll see what it looks like. So here we are at Beatrix, an igloo experience with my friend Steven. How you doing, Steven? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, thank you for having me. Why don't you just explain real quick what uh, the experience people should expect for being in an igloo here. Absolutely. So we're here on Fulton Market Street. Um, so we have our igloos and our greenhouse experience right now. So um, right here in our igloo, um, it's going to be uh, for up to six people. Um, we got a little nice like lounge seat in here, some nice couches. 
some candles uh, to make it kind of a, either a little more romantic or if you want to have a little nice night out with some friends. Um, and this is going to be for $150. Um, and it kind of includes a round of drinks, either our, um, our non-alcoholic cider or our spike cider that we're doing with some whiskey in there. And then in addition to that, we also have our greenhouse experience as well. So it's going to be a little bit smaller space. It's for up to four guests. Um, it's going to be a little bit more dining focus uh, seating, um, but it's going to be you know, a really nice experience. Um, kind of really protects you from, from the elements. A nice little bonus in these, in these igloos as well. Um, we do have a little space heater here as well. Yeah, I was uh, gonna say, I mean, it's 15 degrees warmer in here easy. Yeah, it's nice. It, it really protects you from a lot of the elements. And I think as we get into the colder weather, um, we have some nice blankets in here as well. Um, you know, it, it will really make it a nice experience uh, even as the temperatures dip a little bit. I was talking to Morgan earlier, and this is a very European vibe um, that seems like the city's picking up. I and mean, it's a really cool idea because in Europe, you know, they have open seating like this. Oh, some covered, some not. Um, so the fact that we're doing this on the fly and kind of going as we are, this is amazing. It's a great experience. Yeah, I think I think uh, guests are going to be definitely more inclined now in, in Chicago, like those European cities, to, to die outside more as, as the temperatures dip and as we get a little bit colder here. So, so uh, run through this real quick. This is what people can expect inside here? Yeah, definitely. So um, we have a couple of... Um, we have a couple of uh, special items here as well. Um, we, so this is gonna be our pumpkin pecan pie. Um, so I always say it's like two classics and one there. The bottom is gonna be like a traditional pecan pie. And then you got some pumpkin filling on that with some of our uh, house made vanilla bean whipped cream. Yeah, um, that sounds awesome. We have another one here. This is also something new. Um, this is our pumpkin pancakes. Um, so it's going to be uh, super light and fluffy pancakes, it's served with some maple syrup on the side, some toasted pumpkin seeds, and some whipped cream there. Safe to say it tastes like pumpkin. Uh, it does, yeah. It's yeah. perfect <laughs> for this time, for this time of year. What else? Um, these are some more of our some traditional um, tr traditional dishes. Our crispy kale salad is one of our, our favorites. Uh, has a little bit of uh, grapes in there, some dates, some crispy kale on top, a little bit of cheese. Um, and then going into some um, exciting cocktails. Yeah, why not? Um, so some of our traditional ones are Blueberry Tom Collins. Uh, made with our house made blueberry juice. We have our pineapple habanero margarita with some habanero bitters on there. Um, and then something that we just started is our mez spiked mezcal hot chocolate. So it's gonna have a little bit of mezcal, some creme de coco, and then we serve it um, in this, with this giant marshmallows that we make in house and we toast them. Um, in house marshmallows, yeah. I mean, yeah. That, that marshmallow is almost the size of the whole cup. That's pretty, that's amazing. Yeah, so we're, we're excited to kind of get into doing some hot cocktails and the guests have really started to love it so far. So, so people want to know, like, you guys are gonna, just going to do this until basically weather tells you you can't yes, kind sir. of situation? So we're definitely going to do it till around the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, you know, we'll see kind of after that. Uh, we have the permits till the end of the year. Uh, so if weather permits and, you know, if we have a mild winter, we definitely hope to continue to do this till the end of the year. How can people, uh, what's the best way for them to get reservations for an uh, experience like this? Yeah, definitely. So they can either go to um, our Beatrix Fulton Market talk page, mm -hmm. or they could go right onto our website, BeatrixRestaurants.com, and just click on Fulton Market, and it will take you there and give you all the details um, and what to expect. All right, Stephen, thanks a lot. I appreciate it, and I appreciate uh, what you and the restaurant industry is doing to keep things going and keep people out and um, you know safely, social distancing, while trying some of the best food in the world, right? Thanks. Thanks, yeah. for, thanks for joining us. No problem. All right. Well, that's the Chicago scene for today. Outdoor dining all the way through, or at least Thanksgiving. No. All right. Well, there you have it. That's the Chicago scene. Outdoor dining happening through Thanksgiving holiday, maybe even further, as, as much as weather allows here in the Fulton uh, Market District and also over in Restaurant Row and anywhere, actually, that a restaurant's doing their thing. If you got an idea for the Chicago scene, T B A R N A S at WGNTV.com. That's T Barnes at WGNTV.com. Thanks for watching.